five, six units are out. Can you go with the... It's going to be a blue Honda Accord. 10-4. We'll be out with those parties. Okay. What's going on? So, this lady in this car... This is 6 she ate a stop sign and almost smacked me. Okay. I ended up being in front of her. She followed me all the way through here. And then she kept saying my license plate to somebody over the phone and thinking that I'm... I came to visit my boyfriend. I'm from Bloomfield. Which which car is it? It's that car right there, Park. No, the one in the, in the one, corner. Six, nine, five, with the lights. One, six, nine, the blue. The blue one straight right there. The one with the I, blinker on, I right? I she's intoxicated. Okay, the one with the bl blinker on? Honda, right? All right. Yeah. Just stay here for us. You know, I'll take I'll take the car over. Excuse me? Hey, how's it going today? Hi, how are you? What's going on? There was a girl and she's literally up the block and I was parked just because I was looking for my navigation and literally all of a sudden this might be them right now. But I was I was looking for my navigation and I pulled over and the girl was like, she was like, who the f are you looking for? And I was like, excuse me? And I was like, I'm not looking for anybody. And I, I was completely confused as to what was going on. And I just want to get home. Where do you live? Yeah, what, why are you I so... I live in Palisades Park. I just want to get home. Where are you coming why, why from? Why are you so upset right yeah. now? I'm upset because I was driving from my boyfriend's house who lives in Englewood and literally I made a wrong turn and then they end me up over here in this f***ing, I don't even, excuse my language, but they end me up over here and then I gotta make all these different turns and this and that and this and that and I can't take it. Do you, do you need to go to the hospital then? No, I don't need to go to the hospital. I need some time to myself. Baby, you want to do me a favor and just turn off your car for me? Just put your keys right up on the dash for me. Thank you. Where's your boyfriend live? He lives in Englewood, New Jersey. I know that, but what's his address in Englewood? I cannot give you that address. That is not okay. Okay, that's fine. I'm just curious to know why you're heading in this direction because Palisades Park is the opposite way. Yes, so I know. So that's why I'm trying to find out where he lives and where, you know, why you were going this way to begin with. We so that's why I'm asking this question. We were in a little disputed argument and I had... Who, you and your boyfriend or...? I had, yes. Okay. I had, that's why I had my blazer on. I had a different certain type of way and... I'm very upset right now. I just want to get home. I don't want to have to deal with that stupid girl that came after me. She was literally saying, why the f*** are you here? Who were you just texting on the phone just a second ago when I pulled up? Who was that? Just a second ago? Yeah. I was on Facebook. Oh, you, I, thought you, I thought you were texting something. I was on Facebook. Okay, alright. Do you have your license, registration, insurance on you? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where he lives because, you know, as per what you're saying, you're going to Palisades Park. Get my license. Yeah, sure. He 
You want my sore license as well? No, that's okay. okay. All right, just sit tight for me, okay, real quick? I have no experience with this stuff. Well, she... I'm going to call Don again and see if he wants to come here. Is sweating your speech like crazy, but yeah. I don't know if that's how if she's talking normally. Hey, Don. Are you, uh, are you free, number one? Number two, are you SFST certified? So we got this, like, road rage thing. Um... I, I'm not getting an odor, but she's like slurring her speech. I just don't know if that's how she talks. Like, I don't have any experience with this stuff, so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Waldo and Slocum. Okay. So Donnie's going to come over because he's FS SFST certified. He knows more than I do about this Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. I'm not going to like... No, yeah, it's just... It's just... Because... Yeah, anybody can say anything in terms of like, well, I think she's intoxicated, whatever the case Yeah, I, but I think that's just how she talks. Uh, that's what I think as well. Um, but I just... Why is she so upset? That's what I'm trying to figure out as well. I guess from what she's saying, her arguing with her boyfriend, and then I don't know her story, but from what I know is that that quick glance, she said this car made a... A violation, right? In terms of, didn't she make a violation? That she didn't stop, but she turned when she wasn't supposed to. This lady, what did that lady say? Uh, I believe this one cut her off. Cut her off. Okay, I'll get her story and see what's up. But um, yeah, but that's regardless. It, it, this is just going to be like if it's nothing. If it's, she's not yeah, yeah, intoxicated, yeah, yeah. it's going to be nothing. nothing. Ma'am, just because I, I came late, can you just tell me the story one more time? So, literally... So, how did this all start? Just start from the beginning. It was a person... It was a person, and they were driving behind me, and they went around me, and they kept stopping short as they wanted me to rear-end them. And obviously, but they, they were in going, front of you. Yes. Okay. Well, they weren't in front of me at first. They were behind me, and then they went around me, and then they were in front of me, and then they kept stopping short. Okay. Just so I can rear-end them. Okay. And after that, that's when I called them. Okay. Well, nine more. You months. you called? Yes, I called. Okay. Okay. Um. So my my partner's speaking with her now. We're just trying to get the story. Nobody's in trouble, right? We're just trying to get the story and like see what happened. See, we want to see what uh, what happened here today. So it nobody's in trouble. We're just trying to see like what's going on here. And you're what, what's throwing me off right now is you're so upset over what? I've been going through a lot. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I've been going through a lot. Like. I'm trying to keep my composure, especially you being a police officer. I'm trying to keep my composure because okay. that is not the right way to respect you. Crying and... I, I'm not worried about respect. I'm, I'm worried about you and are no, you no, no, okay? No, no, It is about respect. Okay. I was in the United States Navy. It is about respect. Okay. I don't want to disrespect you. You're not. And I don't want to disrespect your, um, your other... Your partner. Per, your partner. Right. Okay. So, we're just going to get the other story because we didn't talk to her really. Um... So what did you what did you call for? Like what what were your wishes for this? I actually pulled over because I was nervous. Was she I following you? She was following me, and she went around me because uh, uh, supposedly it seemed like I was driving too slow. When I see right here, twenty five miles per hour. Okay. So she passed you. She passed me. She went around me, and she went past me. Okay. 
Okay. And are, are you on your way to your boyfriend's house now, or are you coming from there? I was actually going to my boyfriend's house right now in Englewood. You were going to his house? Yes. I won't say the address, but it's William Street. Okay. Alright. So, where were you coming from? I was actually coming from dropping him off. So, so clear this up for me, because why would you drop him off and then go back to him? He works at Hackensack. He works at AMC. Okay. So, I was dropping him off. Right. And I was coming back this way. I made a wrong turn, and you know how in New Jersey, you make one wrong turn, you end up... Yeah, I hear you. But like, so so this is what I'm asking you to clear up for me. You leave his house on William. Yes. You come this way for what reason? This way, for what reason, was because of the turn that was missed. But you're going back there, you said. I was dropping him off at AMC. Okay. And I was coming back this way. To William. And I took the wrong turn. Okay. And then all this happens. And all of this happens. Okay. So what happened? So it's like a little bit of a road rage thing, it sounds like. Uh, she's driving. Which which way were you driving? Driving this way on? Driving straight this way. On Waldo. Okay. So, the one that Kim is down there with, yeah. apparently passes her, like just passes, goes around her vehicle. She went around like the double, double yellow bars, just to go around. Okay. And then, so she's the caller. Um, she passes her, and then when she passes her, that car gets in front of this one, starts brake checking her, um, and they kind of had words or whatever. She pulls over here and calls, calls, uh, calls us. Okay. So. Um, Did you check our license and everything? Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. All right, let's start from the beginning, because I didn't get your side. I kind of got a glimpse of it real quick. But, so what happened? All right, so I was coming down. I'm not really sure. That so if you want to step on the side, just safety-wise. I already know the name of the street, but I was coming down the street. She had a stop sign. A car in front of her stopped. I saw him stop, and he came out. He had enough time to come out. I was, I was getting closer, she went through the stop sign, and as I honked the horn, that's when she stopped. Okay. And I went around. When I went around her, I turned the corner, and she was right behind me. She was supposed to make a left turn, I think, but she ended up coming right behind me. And so you're saying, like, just quick, yeah. uh, you said she the car stopped, went through, she just blew through, so you honked at her, she stopped, and you went around this way, right? Exactly. Okay. All right. Continue going. going through as I was yep. going. So then, um, I got in front of her, obviously, because I... And then she followed me all the way through over here. Okay, so I'm assuming this happened probably on Demarest. It was like, um, I came it, from that block up there. Down and this And then way. there's a light. Yeah, yeah, that light, yeah. Yeah, that okay. light. That's where I was coming from. And yeah, I, you're coming east, right? Then? Okay, so east, north, south, west. Okay, so that so light. coming up that block. Oh, you're going this way. I was, I was, I, I, I came from there. So I came from, let's say, all the way from over there. Let's. Yeah, because the light's literally at that corner up here. Like, there's a church here that where the, yeah. the building is, mm -hmm. and literally diagonal to that, there's a light. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that's the light where I turned on. Okay. So you made a right onto the light. Like I made, made, I made a right, a right exactly. and then you headed down. Okay, so you and made, then I came down by the church. Okay, so then she probably came out of James, my guess, because that's the next. It has a, a sign that you can't go a certain way on that egg, and when you come out of her. Yeah, so, so it's one way. Yeah, so it's probably James where she came down from. Yeah. Okay, so she blew through the stop sign from what you're saying. Yes. Honked, she froze, you went over the, uh, wait, no, past her, and then she followed you up until here. Yeah, because she made a, because I stopped, because when I, when, when I stopped, I stopped and I told her, I was like, are you crazy? You almost made a stop sign, blah, blah, blah. And then she tried to get around me. So she turned behind my car, but I, I got to just move, keep going straight. And she went and turned the car, because they're telling you, she looked like she was going to make a left. But she was trying to get out. But then as I turned and I kept going, I mean, I drove, she came right behind. Me. Okay. And, and she followed me. Followed you all the way here. And then she went around three times. And on the phone, she was saying my license plate to somebody. Okay. So that's why I decided to call the police, because I don't know if she was calling the police or anybody. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. This may be a little bit, okay? Uh, how long? Depending on what they got going on over there, okay? 
We're just trying to figure it out. But if we can clear you, we'll clear you, okay? okay. So, um, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. No, it's, it's not inconvenience at all. So, where were you coming from? I know you spoke to him already, but so. I was dropping my boyfriend off at work. He works at AMC at Hackensack Mall. And I was coming this way, but unfortunately, I made a wrong turn. And then it brought me this way because I used Waze. And it brought me this way. So, I came this way. And then that's when the woman started. Okay. Um, prior to you dropping your boyfriend off, what did you do today? Nothing, to be honest. Yeah. Really nothing, to be honest. Like, I mean, we just hung out. We had a nice time. Like, did you... Um, the only reason why I'm asking, um, did, were you, like, possibly taking any kind of um, narcotics, or were you drinking or doing anything like that? No, no, no. Not at all. No? Not at all. Okay, so... It's what is it? It's uh, six fifteen now. So, yeah. what time did you drop your boyfriend off? Uh, I dropped him off at around five o'clock p.m. Five o'clock. Okay, and then so you were heading back to William Street, so and that's about eighteen hundred hours or seventeen hundred hours, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, you're not right. mistaken. Okay, but yeah. So the reason why I'm just asking is. What were you doing uh, earlier today that could have put you in a situation where, other than her obviously going around you, were you, you weren't drinking, you weren't doing anything like that? No, I mean, like, me and him were fine, like, honestly, and I just completely lost my cool, I will not lie to you, because my aunt died in a car crash, I know that's not an excuse in any way whatsoever, but my aunt died in a car crash, so when it comes to something like that, when it comes to like a car situation, I do not respect or I do not tolerate anything that has to do with the car situation. Because somebody could be drinking, somebody could be, um, like you said, narcotics, whether it's in whatever the case may be I miss her very much I do and I can never have her back no that's understandable and so you you obviously called the police for this because she was brake checking you yeah she was brake checking me trying to make me rear end her and if I did then it would have been my fault. Mm -hmm. So that's why I stopped and I pulled over and then I called 911. Yeah. I think that was the proper thing to do. No, yeah, it definitely was. I'm a security officer. I'm not stupid. Where do you work? I work at... Um, I can't even think right now. Uh, Bergen, uh, I can't even think of the Bergen, the one that has the AMC movie theater, Allied. The AMC movie theater? The one in Hackensack? Yeah. You're a security guard there? And your boyfriend works at AMC? Okay. I'm actually looking for a new job because I'm not very happy okay. with, uh, you know. But, I mean, that's like personal, you know, whatever. That's not your... So, just a couple more questions. Um, yes. I know you said that you weren't drinking, you weren't doing anything like that. But yes, sir. just it's the way that you're now you're acting emotional. Um, understandably, that you're in this road rage incident. But do you mind just stepping out and running through just a few tests, just so I can make sure that you haven't been under the influence of alcohol or anything like that? Yes, absolutely. Can I step out? Yes, please. I'm sorry, my foot is messed up. Okay, no problem. Just walk to the back of the car, and we'll just step on the side over here. Right no, this way, right this way. way. Left.
just face me. Do you have any problems with your eyes? Do you wear contact lenses or anything like that? No? No, sir. Okay. I know, officer. So, I'm just going to wave this pen in front of your face. Okay. All you have to do, just keep your feet together, hands at your sides. Hands at your sides like that. Just follow the pen with your eyes and your eyes only. So don't move your head, just your eyes, okay? Just your eyes, not your head. Keep your head pointing straight. Are you sure you didn't have anything to drink today? I nothing did. at all? No, I had nothing. At no at point all. today you didn't consume any alcohol? Maybe earlier in the day, around 11 o'clock p.m. That was yeah. the last time, and I had a margarita, and that was with my boyfriend. Okay, at 11 o'clock p.m.? 11 o'clock. Okay, and where were you? I, I am. I'm well, sorry. 11 o'clock a.m.? And where were you drinking at? Humber Dingers. Humber Dingers? You okay, know. Yeah, in, yeah, okay. In Paramus? Yep. All right, um, I know you said you had a problem with your foot, but do you have any problem taking nine steps? You can walk straight okay, ahead so, and I can walk so through the I'm going to demonstrate you, for okay. you what to do, and you just have to first, I'm going to demonstrate it to you, and then after that you just do it, okay? Yes, sir. So for right now, what I want you to do is imagine there's an imaginary line directly in front of you, okay? Okay, so there's an imaginary Just an imaginary line straight line. So, no, hold on. I'm going to show you what to do first. Just stand back over here. So what I want you to do is take your left foot and imagine that it's on the line. And then take your right foot and put it directly in front of it with your hands at your sides and you just stand there, okay? Just hold on. So just do what I said. So your left foot and then put your right foot directly in front of it. Now put your hands at your sides. That's a little bit because my left foot is the one that was broken. How long ago did you break it? I literally broke it two months ago. Okay. Do you have surgery? I did have surgery on it. You did? Okay. All right, so you don't think you'll be able to do it? I mean, I think I can do it. I want to do it because okay. I want to prove to you like that I can actually... Okay, you know, so like I said, so put your left foot and then put your right foot directly in front of it. Like this. And then put your hands at your sides. Okay? And then what you're going to do... You, can't, you don't think it's going to be possible? I'm sorry, I'm it hurts? Sorry. Okay. Yeah, no, it's it's because I have the balls right here. You can feel it yourself. No, it's okay. I don't have to do that. So, all right. So then, since you can't stand on your left foot. Because that's why I drive with my right foot. My right foot is my driving foot. Okay. So. I can literally walk. No, so the, in a the straight line. Okay, but the thing is, you have to do it in a specific way. In a specific. Way. Do you want to try it again? Yes. Okay, so like I said, you're so you know what? I'll demonstrate it before you get into the starting position, even though you're not supposed to. So you're gonna have your left foot and your right foot in front of it. You're gonna take nine heel to toe steps, counting out loud: one, two, three. You're gonna take nine. I just took three. When you get to nine, you're gonna take small choppy steps. Spin around and then take nine heel to toe steps backwards. Hold on, don't start until I tell you, okay? Do you understand that, how I explained it? Because you weren't really watching. Yes, officer. Okay. So put your left foot and then your right foot in front of it. And take your steps. Okay, so your foot's going to be the issue. Okay, so how about this? Is there anything else? Yeah, yeah. That so I can we'll try. Right yeah, yeah. We'll like, try this. Okay. So please, since you, yeah. Because my foot is really bad. Okay. So since you can't stand on your left foot, what I want you to do is you're going to stand on your right foot. Okay. What you're okay. going to do, just hold on. I'll explain it to you again. Just stand with your feet together and your hands at your sides. What you're going to do is you're going to balance. You're going to pick your left foot in the air. Don't do it yet. Let me explain it first. You can take your left foot, pick it up six inches off the ground and you're going to count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, okay? You're not going to stop until I tell you, all right? Hold on one second.
Don't start yet. So you're gonna do you understand how I explained it? Yes. It just hurts really bad because it's the bulge. Like okay. it's it's the bulge on the side of my foot. Alright, so when I say begin you can pick up your left foot, okay? Hands at your side, straight down. Go ahead. Straight out like this, like I showed you. And count. One thousand one. Okay, well. It really, really does hurt bad. I'm not gonna lie. Understandable. What's your name, is miss? There, is there anything, anything else so, that I can do for you guys? No. Anything? At this point now, you're gonna be placed under arrest for driving intoxicated. We're gonna bring you to headquarters. You're gonna have to take a breathalyzer and we'll be able to see from there, okay? Can I so try just one more time? No, hands behind your back, ma'am. Can I please try no. one more time? Let me get, actually, well, just got to get their information or see if they want to sign anything against her. If you want to talk to them, I'll take her. Please, can you let me try one more time? No, it's understandable, ma'am. So what we're going to do now, because you can't complete the test, we're going to take you to headquarters. You're going to take a breathalyzer. Okay? You said, uh, tell us this location, please. What about my vehicle? We're going to end up towing it. Where? It's, it's going to be towed somewhere in Anglewood. I don't have my <laughs> Ma'am, into the vehicle, please. Just timestamp one under. 450. <laughs> Step up. Okay, come on. Officer, please! He said absolutely nothing! Why isn't she in handcuffs? Just to let you know, man, you're being audio video recorded, okay? I understand, but why isn't she in handcuffs? Please, officer, I can't afford this. Officer, please. Officer. Lieutenant. What's up? Miss, so we're going to bring these wallets. You want me to bring your purse to headquarters also on your phone? Please, can you just let me please try again? Ma'am, Please. we're past that point. We're going to bring you to Anglewood Police Department. You're going to submit breast samples if you wish to. Is there anything out of the vehicle other than your phone and this stuff here? You want me to grab your purse? I have everything. I've been living out of my car. Okay. Please don't open me. <laughs> Please don't tell my car. Please don't open me. Uh, her, yeah, her, she's uncuffed, but she got out of her cuffs. She got out? Yeah, I think y'all were probably loose, but don't worry about it. Okay. 
All of your bracelets, jewelry, all that, and we're going to put it in this bag, okay? So this process, if... Please be very delicate with the jewelry because you're gonna, I make these bracelets myself and they mean a lot to me. Okay. You're going to take them off, so... Okay, we're going to give you that courtesy. We're going to let you take them off, okay? This one. Yeah, we're going to put all this stuff in this bag here, okay? Do you have gloves back here? Say again? Do you have gloves back here? Oh, uh, yeah. Mediums. Perfect. That's the yep. left side of my arm. Okay. This is the right side of my arm. Okay. Perfect. Your earrings and all piercings have to come out, too. This can't come out. This can't come out. Like, this cannot come out. Okay, well, first let's get all the bracelets off first. Take out what you can for now, okay? This isn't coming out either. I've had this literally for five years now, and there's probably... Alright, well, just take the ones you can take off first. Let's start with the ones on your hands. Let's take all your rings and all that stuff off first. Is this just a 450? Yeah. You know the stuff? No, I just want to get all the bracelets and stuff. We probably don't have to go with everything, but I don't know how long she's going to be here. Oh. Since she lives in her car, so. Uh, you could, um, you could work it out, Yeah, I don't Hang know. On. Can Ken go for that? Why not? It's uh, a lot of times supervisors don't allow that. Why? I don't know. Not allowed. She's supervisor. Well, no, I'm not. No, you could ask him. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not ruling that. Sorry. I don't want to go through this. I mean, we shouldn't be the judge how long she's yeah. supervised out. Like, she, th that's the whole point of the natural. All right, take that other bracelet off. You know, we'll let the ear piercings. I'm going to do so. We're gonna let the ear piercings and stuff slide for now because it's gonna take probably longer than this process. <laughs> it's, it is. So let's just get that one off. I don't want to have to cut it off, but yeah, there you go. You're almost there. Perfect. Okay, so. The sergeant over here is going to take you into this room. Come here. I have a belly button ring. Okay, come with me. Come, come, yeah. come, come, come. Come with me. This way. Oh, sorry. Okay, Amanda. So, we're going to try to speed this process as fast as we can. So, at this point now, you're going to be under a 20 minute observation. So you can't eat, drink, put anything in your mouth, you can't have anything in your mouth, you can't burp, cough, sneeze. So could you mind just opening your mouth real quick just so I make sure there's nothing in there? I do have a problem, just so you know, with my esophagus, so it might be a little bit red. Okay. I'm just letting you know. All right, take your tongue. Pick it up. All right, perfect. All right, Amanda, I'm going to read something to you, and it's very important that you listen and try to understand to the best of your ability. If you have any questions after, I'll be able to explain it to you, but first I have to read this whole thing to you, okay? You've been arrested for driving while intoxicated, NJSA 39-4-50. The law requires you to submit samples of your breath for the purpose of testing to determine alcohol content. A record of the taking of your breath samples includes the test including the test results, will be made. Upon your request, you... Can you pause right there? That is completely false because... Okay, so we're not going to... You're not going to be able to interrupt. So I'm going to continue reading this. Upon, upon your request, a copy of that record will be made available to you. 
After you have provided samples of your breath for testing, you have the right at your own expense. Oh, listen, you're not going to interrupt because otherwise I'm going to make it a refusal. After you have provided samples of your breath for testing, you have the right at your own expense to have a to have a person or physician of your own selection take independent samples of your breath, blood, or urine for independent testings. If you refuse to provide samples of your breath, you will be issued a separate summons for refusal. The court may find you guilty of both refusal and driving while intoxicated. If the court finds you guilty of the refusal, you will be subject to various penalties, including license revocation for up to 20 years, a fine of up to $2,000, insulation of ignition interlock, and referral to Intoxicated Driver Resource Center. These penalties may be in addition to the penalties imposed by the court for any of other offenses of which you were found guilty. You have no legal right to have an attorney, physician, or anyone else present for the purpose of taking the breath sample. You have no legal right to refuse to give or delay giving breath samples. Any response from you that is ambigu ambiguous or conditional in any respect to my request for you to provide breath samples will be treated as a refusal to submit breath testing. Even if you agree to take the test but do not follow my instructions, do not properly perform the test, or do not provide sufficient breath samples, I will charge you with refusal to submit breath testing. I repeat, the law requires you to submit samples of your breath for testing. Will you submit samples of your breath? Yes. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to Mirandize you, which means you don't have to... My Miranda rights. Correct. You understand what that is? Yes. Okay. I'm a security officer myself. Understandable. Before you ask any questions, you must be advised of constitutional rights. You have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer any questions. Do you understand that? Yes. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand that? Yes. You have the right to talk to an attorney any time and have him present with you while you are being questioned. Do you understand that? Yes. If you cannot afford or hire an attorney, one will be appointed to you one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. You may stop answering questions or request an attorney at any time. Do you understand that? Yes, 